Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Wisdom and Light here, and I am back with another astro message. It's been so long since I have sat with you guys and pulled some messages. We're going to see the energy that is surrounding cancer, things that you need to know in here for your highest good and protection. So I have to honor that these cards came out literally as I was shuffling. If you are new here, welcome. We do monthly astro messages like this one or really bi-monthly. They just kind of come in when I feel called to do it. We do celebrity trending topics and whatever that's going on in the cosmos. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a beautiful day or evening whenever you are watching this. And we're just going to be pulling on the energy surrounding cancer. Keep in mind that this is a general message. Not everything that I'm going to say in this reading may resonate with you because we're reading for a big group of cancers, okay? So that being said, just grab your snacks, <laughs> something to drink, relax, take three deep mindful breaths to just kind of center yourself as we dive in for cancer, sun, moon, Venus, and rising. And we will begin. What are the messages coming in for ooh, cancer that cancer needs to hear for their highest good and protection? We have the lover's card reverse. We have the ten of cups. We also have the six of swords, the two of wands, and the knight of swords. So this is what I'm seeing for cancers. Hmm. So let's sit with this as we... Decipher what the divine is trying to say for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Cancer, I feel that you are, for a lot of you, a relationship just ended, for a lot of you. Or you're contemplating if a relationship or connection with someone is going to end because you feel that things haven't been the same or things have been kind of off. If it's not about a relationship per se, it can definitely be family. Thinking about where did we go wrong? Where did the love go? Cancer, I feel that right now you're in the fields of emotional relationships and connections that are not the same or you are outgrowing a lot of these dynamics. Cancer, I feel that this is going to be um, a month where you're definitely going deep within to kind of just get a feel of what were the lessons you were supposed to learn? What do you want to do? Where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself with this person? Do you see yourself doing this? Did you move too fast with this person? Are you not moving fast enough with this person? Are you getting ready to propose if you are a cancer male? Thinking about, I need to take this seriously. This is the love of my life. Cancers, I just feel like you're coming to a lot of conclusions and epiphanies and realizations. That some of you are either in a dead-end relationship or a lot of you feel like we have to take it to the next level. What are we doing? Are we together? Are we not? Am I staying at this job? Am I leaving? So I do feel like a lot of you are going to be in the space of really thinking things through before you make big decisions. Because May, it feels like you are going to be choosing and making some tough choices, okay? But here's the thing. All of it is for the better. All of it is for your growth. So I wouldn't say that this is something that you should be scared of for a lot of you. I, I feel a lot of excitement. I feel a lot of emotional happiness. I feel like good news is going to be coming your way. So it feels really, really good um, for cancer. But yes, there is a vibe of just wondering if you're making the right choices and decisions when it comes to the people that you share your heart space with. The people that you open up your whole chakra to, your heart chakra to. <laughs> We have the Ten of Swords as well, followed by the Two of Wands, and then we have the Knight of Swords. You know another thing that I just felt, Taurus? You, you know another thing that I just felt, Cancer? People expecting you to do something because they feel like you're supposed to do it and you owe them. It's a vibe here too, just kind of like, I don't owe you anything. I don't have to do any of this. I don't have to show up. I don't have to be a friend. I don't have to do any of these things that people are telling me that I have to do. Or they all have their hand out waiting for something, wanting something. I'm going to show up when I want to show up. I'm going to pour into people when I want to pour into people. I'm going to pour into myself 
when I'm ready to pour into myself, I'm going to do what is absolutely best for me for once. And I'm going to continue to make this a habit because I'm working on my boundaries. I'm working on saying no. I'm working on evaluating connections that are ending so I don't have to keep saying yes to it. I don't have to keep pretending I am being honest with myself. I'm being honest with the things that I want. So that's what I'm channeling for Cancer. And I feel like this is going to be a good move. This is going to be a good month where you are recognizing connections that need to end and connections that need to begin, connections that need to deepen. A lot of you are moving on. A lot of you are moving forward. A lot of you are letting something or someone go. And it's for the best. And a lot of you are very, very focused on elevating in your career and taking yourself to the next level. That I am also seeing for Cancers. So in the month of May, what I'm seeing for the month of May, I'm seeing a lot of reevaluating your circle and your friends and just kind of getting a feel of, are we all on the same page? Because if we're not, I'm going to go this way and you're going to go that way. The month of May is going to be about setting your boundaries, saying no when you absolutely have to, and stop feeling guilty about not doing what people are expecting you to do. No, you do it when you have the time, when you have the emotional strength to do it, Cancer. You don't have to show up because they are demanding that of you in a sense of maybe your friends, your family. I know we have to show up for our jobs and do our jobs and show up for our children. But you see, those things are priority in order to survive and in order to make sure that your children survive. We're talking about friends or people or even men that like men, if you're a woman, men that say they want to be with you, but they have yet to make it official or even say, I would like to get married or something like that. We're putting too much energy in people that have nothing for us. And I feel like in the month of May, you're really going to be picking and choosing what and who you are putting your energy in or, and all of that stuff. So you're actually looking at certain people, you're looking at certain connections and you're asking yourself, is this connection coming to an end? More than likely it is. Is this person moving on from me? More than likely they are. Is this person over it? More than likely, that's what it, that's what it is. And it's better to recognize the signs than to act like it's not happening, Cancer. So that's something that I do see here. Um, a lot of you are also moving so let me know in the comments if you guys are in the process of moving. I feel movement for you guys. A lot of you are actually moving. Hmm. A lot of you are making decisions. Like this is going to be that time for decision making. A lot of decisions are going to be made. Torn between two majors. Torn between getting a certain car. Torn between staying or going. You guys are making some choices and decisions. Now let's tap into your love life. Cancer, a lot of you need to let someone go because another thing that can happen is you have a good person, you have a good partner, but you're stuck on your toxic ex or you're stuck on someone that wasn't really good for you, which is a toxic ex. And it could look like you're choosing the toxicity over what's actually good for you. So this is why, again, making decisions and choosing yourself and doing what's best for yourself is going to save you every time. Rather than considering other people, their feelings, their traumas, you already did that and got nothing in return, Cancer. So it's time for you to just choose wisely here. You don't have to settle for any poor behavior or anything that doesn't serve you or sit well with you. You don't have to say yes. I keep feeling like you guys are saying yes when you really should have said no. I'm not sure why, but that's what's happening right now. So show me love. What are messages coming in for cancers and their love life? Hmm. The seat. Someone is not being 100% honest in this connection or situation and is making you wonder if you rushed into this relationship or connection too soon. So for my cancers that are dating and you guys are trying to figure this person out, someone in this dynamic is lying. It could be you lying to yourself or this person is lying to you. In the month of May, you are being called to step back and really 
begin to heal your heart chakra because going back to that same type of person or that same type of energy is actually making you stay in a cycle that you don't need to be in. So recognize the signs. Do not see these red flags and say that they're hot pink. Recognize it for what it is. Take a step back. This is not your person for some of you, okay? If you are thinking too much of if this is it or is it, no, it's too much thinking, Cancer. It's too much. It's too much for someone that doesn't deserve that. So your spirit guides are calling you back to get away from this. Um, another thing, Cancer, this is also connected to a friend. A lot of you guys are going to be cutting somebody off or letting someone go or letting something go. You've been having a lot of anxiety. You've been having a lot of fear surrounding this connection or person or just feeling like this person is kind of crossing a boundary here. So let this go. Let this person go. Cancer, Cancer, this has nothing to do with relationships. Some of you are actually dealing with anxiety surrounding work. Am I getting the promotion? Will I get that loan? Will I get enough money? Will things be moving in my favor? So let's see. Because some of you feel like you're not going to get that opportunity. Something's slipping out of your hands. So I want to confirm. I know we were talking about love, but there's a fear here of not getting what you want. The Four of Cups. Okay. The Four of Cups. Will the offer be for Cancer? The Eight of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and then we have the Ten of Swords. All right, so what I'm going to say, um, Cancer, is it's not that the opportunity is not yours. Um, it's getting delayed, and as a matter of fact, the more delays that keep happening or the more setbacks that keep happening, the more it's going to actually force you to look into other options. So Cancer, exercise other options so you're not just putting all of your eggs in one basket, okay? So that's to kind of um, honor the anxiety energy that I was picking up right there. It's kind of connected to money. All right. So what are the messages happening for my cancers that are in relationship? What are messages that they need to hear? The seven of wands. You guys have not been having a lot of date nights or spending a lot of time together. And it's going to start affecting the connection or the relationship. Someone in this connection is bored. So spice it up, Cancer. I feel that it's time to take that vacation. It's time to go on those dates again. It's time to kind of liven things up because it's been boring. And I feel that you guys will. I feel that a lot of you that are in happy connections, but maybe you guys just, just don't have enough time together, make the time. And I do feel that you guys should be okay. Cancers that are single. What are message for cancers that are single? What are messages for cancers that are single? Okay, we have envy followed by patience. So cancer, why them and not me? Because it's not your time yet. And also because you made a promise to yourself, some of you at least, you made a promise to yourself that you're going to continue to do what's best for you, that you're going to work on healing, that you're going to work on growing, that you're going to work on going back to school. And you've been doing that very well, Cancer, or you've been very consistent with that. So if you are single and you're wondering why hasn't these things happened for you, it's not that you're doomed. It's not that you have bad luck. I don't see that. It's more so about... You are working on yourself. Some of you are getting therapy. Some of you are really getting back into your hobbies and the things that you love and showing your art, showing what you bring to the table. And that's just going to require a lot of focus. But it doesn't mean that you're not desirable. It doesn't mean that you're not loved. You're just focused on winning right now. And maybe there's not enough room for that person to step in or you actually do have options cancer but none of these people are striking interest none of them are inspiring you to um to take it there some of you are probably watching a lot of your peers get married and things of that sort it's not that it, it's not that you're doomed or cursed but it's just not time yet your your angel guys are saying to please be patient yeah they're saying to please be patient for a lot of you even if, let's say, you're a gentleman and you want to propose, but money isn't that great because you're working on rebuilding it, you're working on getting everything stabilized, I feel that you will get the opportunity to propose. Just get everything in order. This is kind of like your time to kind of get everything organized and structured. So May just kind of feels like Cancer is getting their shit together. You guys are getting your shit together. And I like that for you guys. It just, it just feels like you guys are focused. 
you have tunnel vision, you're focused on the things that you have to do. Love is a little, it could be better, but you're so focused on the task at hand and I love that for you. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's what I'm picking up for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Don't forget to stand up for yourselves, Cancer. Choose yourself and relationships that are not working. Deepen the ones that you want to get closer to and everything like that. Focus on yourself. Know that you have to be patient for things to come in. And be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. And remember, say no. Don't say yes. That's not self-love. Say no to that because you don't want to do it. Because you just don't want to do it. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, Cancer.